Meantime, the reconstituted COVID-19 Management Center will hold its inaugural meeting on Thursday, November 11, 2021. The meeting, which will take place at the Financial Administrative Center at Point Seraphine, will be addressed by Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Honorable Moses Jabatiste. Members of the COVID-19 Management Center will receive a report by the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Sharon Belmar George, on lessons learned from St. Lucia's experience during the fourth wave of the pandemic. It is expected that representatives of the private sector on the COVID-19 Management Center will share their perspectives on a policy and strategic framework for handling the pandemic in a manner that will protect lives and livelihoods and promote a healthy economy. The meeting will be telecast live on the National Television Network from 10 a.m. The island's Minister for Sustainable Development has been assessing the existing systems and capacity for waste management. Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, Honorable Sean Edward, accompanied by management of the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority, recently conducted a tour of the Deglo Sanitary Landfill. Minister Honorable Edward indicated that the government of St. Lucia, to achieve its goal of a landfill-free St. Lucia by 2030, must overcome the many challenges that currently exist. One such challenge is that the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority is currently without a general manager. The Sustainable Development Minister explained that the government of St. Lucia will be looking to appoint a general manager to lead such a critical agency. The ultimate objective is for us to have a landfill free St. Lucia by the year 2030. Um, moving forward, there, there is also a very robust education plan and campaign that will be rolled out by the Solid Waste Management Authority. Um, generally speaking, I think St. Lucians have adapted well to solid waste um, disposal. And as I said, it is just a matter of ensuring that whatever we do, um, it is done in conformity with the best practices that exist in other parts of the world. As, as we speak, there's a situation where we are hauling waste from the south of the island all the way to the Deglo landfill. Um, I do not believe that this is, the, 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 this is best practice. And this is something that we have to revisit as a new administration. It has cost the government of St. Lucia somewhere in the region of $2 million just to hold waste from Viewfort to Deglo. And in an environment where the government does not have too much fiscal space in which to maneuver and to, to roll out programs with the, the, the rapidity that we would have liked as an incoming administration, this is something that we have to review and we believe that the $2 million that has been expended so far in, in trucking garbage from Viewfort to Deglo um, is money that could be used to, to in other areas of national development to provide relief for the citizens of this country. The government of St. Lucia, in addressing the issue of hauling waste from Viewfort to Castries, will be reviewing its agreement with Desert Star Holding, DSH, to allow for changes where possible and necessary in the best interest of citizens. The Sustainable Development Minister also explained that efforts will be channeled towards improving the work conditions at the landfill. When I came here uh, a couple of days ago, well, or probably I should say that from time to time I make an impromptu stop at the landfill just to get an appreciation for myself in terms of what the workers go through um, when the cameras are not around and, and, they're not, and, and there's no oversight being provided by management. And, and you get a much truer picture of what obtains. And I must tell you that um, when I came here two Sundays ago, I was not particularly thrilled with some of the conditions that I, I noticed the workers had to endure. Um, I have brought that to the attention of management day two um, were aware and it wasn't a deliberate um, it wasn't deliberate action on their part to have the workers um, enjoying the conditions that, that are obviously not favorable but moving forward um, we have all recognized that there's need for improvement and I can assure you that the next time you come here you will have the workers at the landfill and just workers at solid waste generally speaking much more favorably in terms of the conditions under which they have to work. Acting General Manager of the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority, Loriana Sles Flores, explained that the landfill has been faced with the issue of waste not being covered, resulting in increased pests. He noted, however, that this would be addressed over the next two months. The Deglo Sanitary Landfill was commissioned in 2003 with a 20-year lifespan. Operation of the landfill comes at a monthly cost of $45,000, for equipment rental and wages, as the authority does not own any equipment. 
Based on the current situation, the authority is looking at an additional 9 to 12 years lifespan for the landfill, providing that a number of provisions are made, including the reduction of waste coming into the landfill. If we reduce the volume of waste coming into the landfill, uh, organic waste make up over 50 percent of the waste that's deposited there. Now the authority have a plan in terms of doing composting at the landfill and I will show you the site that we are prepared for that. In the coming months we'll be encouraging households and businesses to undertake composting. So our objective is to have very little compostable waste coming into the landfill. With regards to the other waste streams, example cans, plastic bottles, metal, we have a plan to do some segregation of that waste at the household level, but that's in the long term. So those measures would increase the life of the landfill considerably so that hopefully we could achieve, like the minister said, uh, zero landfill by the year 2030. The St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority also explained that some 20 incinerators were procured. However, it has been facing a number of challenges with their operationalization. Four of the incinerators were commissioned in February 2021. However, as of now, only one remains operational. As such, a significant effort will be made towards rectifying existing issues with the incinerators. From the Government Information Service, I am General Norville.